1877, an Italian astronomer named Giovanni Virginio Schiaparelli is extremely thrilled because the Earth will move between Mars and Sun and the three will form a consecutive line with each other, and it was the best day to observe Mars. He needed a 24cm astronomical telescope in order to see what the surface of Mars looks like. He pointed the telescope in the direction of Mars. He encountered multiple and constant adjustments until a clear view of Mars appeared before his eyes. This is more than anyone has ever seen clearly, the red planet. He found some dim areas on the surface of Mars. The dim area is a groove-like shape called gullies. The gullies are up to 4,800 kilometers and 120 kilometers wide. Upon the discovery of the said gullies, charting aroused widespread concern in the astronomy community that the said gullies are considered to be canals on Mars that might also be a huge rivers. In 1964, the United States launched Mariner 4, Mars probe, and it successfully flew to Mars. 21 photos taken at an altitude of 10,000 kilometers. These photos showed the so-called canals on Mars, and it turned out to be a huge canyon, and there were no traces of rivers were captured on Mars. Mars is a barren red planet. Subsequently, Mars is a very unusual planet because of its blood-red appearance. Named after the ancient Roman religion and myth, Mars was the god of war and also an agricultural guardian, a combination characteristics of early Rome. Ancient Chinese astronomers called Mars glaze because of the movement of Mars in the solar system is elusive, complicated, and confusing. Mars is about 51% in diameter mass, about 13% of the Earth. Its gravity is equivalent to 37% of Earth. Mars takes 687 Earth days to orbit the Sun. It is tilted at 25.19 degrees. This is similar to the tilt of the Earth. Mars will more likely to have four seasons like Earth, just two times longer each season. But Mars rotates just for 24 hours and 40 minutes, almost as long as a day on Earth. Most people know that only Earth is the habitable planet in the solar system. Generalized habitable zones are the planets in this broad habitable zone which water may exist. It includes Venus and Mars, but Venus is too thick due to the atmosphere, causes surface temperature to be high, causing all liquid to evaporate. While well, Mars' atmosphere is too thin, that's why water is not possible to exist there. That is to say, as long as it is within this broad livable zone, the atmospheric conditions are just appropriate. Through a series of atmospheric hydrogen and oxygen, if a liquid or water barely exists, then there will be a high probability of life. Is it possible that Mars has life? Or did Mars ever have life? United States Mariner 4 Mars probe first discovered sulfur in Mars rocks. Nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon are the basic elements that make up carbon-based life. More importantly, continuous curiosity discovered boron on Mars more than on Earth. However, boron forms RNA. Without RNA, there would be no life on Earth. RNA cannot exist stably in water and it would dissolve easily when mixed into any liquid form like sugar. The presence of boron in Mars tells us that organic matter may exist on Mars and there are chemical reactions that can synthesize RNA. So to speak, Mars contains all the elements that make carbon-based life. So why is it still there on Mars? The unique geology of Mars illustrates that the two northern and southern hemispheres of Mars have been showing two different characteristics. There are potholes and bumps in the southern hemisphere, and in the northern hemisphere, the terrain is low. But it has the highest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, 
with 21,171 meters. Mars served orbiter based on latest observations. The Borealis Basin in the northern hemisphere of Mars is the largest crater in the solar system. By the early solar system, about 4 billion years ago, a giant asteroid formed the crater after impact. This crater is about 10,600 kilometers long and 8,500 kilometers wide. The area is equivalent to Asia, Europe, and the total area of Oceania. Presumably, the volume of this asteroid that hit Mars is almost 20% huge as Mars. The atmosphere in this planet is very likely similar to Earth, apart from being vibrant. Primary life also exists, such as bacteria. Suddenly, a planet of 1,600 kilometers in diameter formed an angle of 30 to 60 degrees with the surface of Mars and hit Mars, an equivalent to 150 trillion metric tons of TNC, equivalent to 75 trillion. It can be correlated to Hiroshima atomic bomb. This huge impact suddenly marred the entire core of Mars and came out the entire Martian Northern Hemisphere was almost flattened. The newly born life no longer exists. Part of the wreckage of this asteroid formed the current Phobos and the wreckage was blown out of Mars' gravitational range. One possibility is that this impact directly evaporated all of Mars' ocean leaving only traces of the existence of the ocean and the planet's magnetic field is driven by the center of the Earth, so Mars slowly lost the protection of its magnetic field. These traces are the first of those Chaparini huge ditch seen through a telescope. The process may continue for a long time, so the life of Mars after the impact still exists, but as the atmosphere dissipates, Mars surface temperature difference become large that reach negative 5 degrees Celsius during the day and reach negative 87 degrees Celsius at night. The last life is gone and the whole Mars has become a barren land. On winter in 1984, Roberta Score, Antarctic expedition team used an electric sled that passed through the Antarctic glacier. They found a black stone. The Antarctic continent is covered by snow all year round, so any stones found here will have a fairly high proportion of meteorites. Besides, this stone looks special, not like any natural rocks on Earth. After the expedition, Roberta brought back the stone and it was identified as a meteorite number ALH84001. ALH is Allen Hills in Antarctica. 84 means 1984001 is in the area in 1984. This was the first meteorite found. It was then sent to Johnson Space Center in Houston Meteorite Laboratory. This meteorite is only treated as an ordinary meteorite. It laid on laboratory's wall for 12 years until 1996. NASA team of scientists researched on this meteorite and made amazing discoveries. Chief scientist David McKay at Johnson Space Center claimed to be in this meteorite a trace of fossils of microscopic bacteria found to be a kind of microorganism. It is a living body with kinetic energy found on the meteorite. It means that this life form comes from an alien. The bigger discovery is based on the structure of the said meteorite. This meteorite came from Mars. It was the same year that they published this article in a scientific journal. Meteorite from a Martian life shocked the entire scientific community. President Clinton targets discovery on the south lawn of the White House. They held a press conference and spent years of exploration and intensive research. This is called code 84001. It illustrates the possibility of life. 
One of the most shocking insights about the universe is why did the scientists at that time decided that this meteorite must have come from Mars? Until now, humans have not brought this rock back from Mars. All research data is from Mars rover sent back remotely and was launched by the United States in 1976. Pirate 1 and Pirate 2 Mars probes These two probes that successfully landed on Mars collected detailed data of Mars' atmosphere and sent back to Earth. The atmospheric composition data becomes the key evidence to identify this meteorite because every meteorite has unique bubble structure on Earth and on the moon in a meteorite bubble structure, on other planets will be completely different. These bubble structures on each planet is caused by the unique atmospheric environment. Humans happen to several atmospheric data of several planets in the solar system. The bubble data of this ALH84001 showed exactly the same composition of Mars' atmosphere. Scientists have claimed this as a meteorite from Mars that passed radioactive year tests detecting the past and present of this meteorite is aged 4.091 billion years. Actually, this is not the only piece of meteorite found from Mars. A total of 12 Martian meteorites were also found in Antarctica. But only this one has ALH84001 microscopic bacterial fossil found. This means that Martian meteorite was able to come to Earth 13,000 years ago. After the news was released, a planetary scientist named Harvey and a geologist named Max Wen published an article in the journal Nature Analytical Papers for ALH84001 that states 84001 contains non-aqueous biomass. In other words, this meteorite cannot prove that water really existed on Mars and water is one of the necessary conditions for carbon-based life. Continuing to study this meteorite is of a little value subsequently. David McKay, who released a meteorite on Mars, provided new evidence they have discovered meteorite called Material Evidence of PAH. This substance is only produced after the combustion of organic matter which amounts to announcing that Mars was 4 billion years ago. The basic form of life even more shocking is they also publish a photo which is taken with an electron microscope high-resolution photo of the interior of a meteorite. There is a warm-shaped substance on the photo which is very much likely the appearance of some kind of bacteria although it is less than 1% of a hair. David McKay also presented three sites of evidence. Number 1. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons on the Earth can only be caused by rotten organics and no rotting was found in this meteorite organic debris. In other words, this meteorite will not be contaminated by Earth bacteria. This bacterium was brought by the meteorite itself. Number 2. There are iron and sulfur deposits in 84001 and these are likely to be metabolites of this bacterium. Number 3. This is also the most powerful evidence edge of carburetic minerals at 84001 gathered and ordered magnetite fine particles of ferric tetroxide from the site of these grains. The shapes and fine details are the same as those bacteria on Earth that can digest magnetite similar grains made. This means this microscopic bacteria is very similar to the structure of bacteria on Earth, and so this 84001 meteorite contains an ancient microorganism from Mars, but the ancient bacteria of Mars doesn't mean that life has ever appeared on Mars, because life on Earth is also very likely to be an alien meteorite carrying bacteria that hit the ocean. To prove that life once appeared on Mars, and that there was an ocean on Mars, the United States has launched on Mars Pirate 1 and 2 Pathfinder Courage, Opportunity, Phoenix, and Curiosity Detector. These detectors have different divisions of labor massive Martian geological and atmospheric data returned over the years. 
year 2008, Phoenix dug a shovel at the landing site of Mars and took a picture. It was taken on the 20th Martian day. At that time, a white shiny substance was photographed and it looked like ice so NASA issued a command to leave Phoenix in a place to take a photo every day. On the 24th, Phoenix sent back photos of the same location. Part of the bottom left corner disappeared because the surface temperature of the Phoenix area is more than negative 90 degrees to negative 20 degrees. Much higher than what dry ice requires low temperature of negative 20 degrees, so these white substances cannot be dry ice. This is the first time that water is found on Mars. September 25, 2015 NASA issued a press release on their website. Few words but the content was absolutely intriguing. NASA has unveiled the unsolved mystery of Mars. A major scientific discovery will be revealed. The whole world is discussing exactly what major findings will be announced. Could it be that NASA finds extraterrestrial life on the surface of Mars? NASA solemnly announces that they were not expecting to find any form of liquid or water on Mars since it was a dry and barren planet. Combining this 8401 meteorite from Mars, they can be basically determined that there was life on Mars. NASA states that not only there is a liquid on Mars, it has frozen into ice and flowing water that only appears during warm season. So a large scale? Flowing water source was found on Mars. It's just a matter of time but based on the complex environment of Mars, collision with huge asteroids and higher form of life could be speculated. Almost impossible although a lot of methane was found on Mars. It does not rule out the existence of some microbes on their Mars. But these requires a Mars rover provide more discoveries in the future. A series of discoveries through Mars identified a certain amount of water on Mars. It has all the elements of life being because Mars is also in the habitable zone of the solar system. 84001 meteorite also illustrates that there was basic life on Mars, but because of the impact 4 billion years ago, the life process on Mars came to an abrupt end. According to research, Earth's life existed 4 billion years ago. Coincides with the time of this was the collision of the meteorite in Mars. It is also an organic matter presumably long time ago. Than only 4 rocky planets in the solar system, there are 2 living planets. Is this 50% probability too high? Does that explain life in the universe is a very common phenomenon? But the truth is if it's such a high probability that humans should have discovered alien life long ago or the alien civilization remained. But why humans still haven't found any sign of alien existence? This is FIVO Mystery Cases. Feel free to leave us a comment down below for more video suggestions, topics, and ideas. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you for watching!